In the capital, Ankara, today they're calling for the Prime Minister to go. Erdogan resign, they're shouting, Erdogan resign. But this was the police response. They appeared to be firing canisters of gas directly at the protesters. In return, they hurled back rocks and stones and built barricades to attempt to hold their position. In Istanbul, where this protest movement started, they came back to this square today to celebrate. After the tear gas and the water cannon of the night before, into their third day now of mass street protests, this was a statement. The people, they say, are reclaiming this square, and with it, they are demanding their freedom. This is much more than the park, because it's now the resistance is all over uh, Turkey. Uh, it's the, the, there is resistance uh, in Ankara, in Izmir, in Eskisehir, everywhere in Turkey. There was something of a sense of the theme park about Taksim Square today. This boy inviting everyone aboard his burned out minibus. The charred symbols of authority here, now photo opportunities, covered in anti-government graffiti. Dogan invited us in to what had been a police security point. He told us they will stay here for as long as they can. Tomorrow morning, police will attack us. We know it. And if we can protect here, if we can protect here, we will continue. But I don't think we can uh, continue. This was where all this started, a couple of hundred metres from the main square, a peaceful park with a children's playground. A small group of protesters had staged a sit-in to try to save it from being turned into a shopping mall. They recorded the police response on their mobile phones. You! These pictures of tear gas used on apparently peaceful and unarmed protesters spread on social media and provided the spark that led to this. We're applauding the speakers here that have been chanting, this is Taksim, this is freedom, everywhere is Taksim, everywhere is rebellion. And this is the message we're trying to send to their Prime Minister. He said, he doesn't understand the message they are sending, then they will make him understand it. They are angry here with what they feel is the failure of their national media to cover this story. This is what's left of a Turkish news crew's satellite truck. They're not broadcasting anything uh, when this is all happening here and when people died there, people have been struggling, struggling for the last four, uh, four days. They were just uh, broadcasting cooking shows and it's, I don't know, insane. The Prime Minister today described these protesters as a few looters and vowed he would press ahead with his redevelopment plans. But they're calling this here now the People's Park, and these people refuse to be silenced.